Good day everyone and welcome back to the Survivor Chaos. If you enjoy our content then please give a like and let's get working for the world. Let's go. <clears throat> Raiders. Losing any speed is okay I would say. So we are going to be going for early tier two barracks everywhere. Only the bottom plate in a random. Um, throw one yeah, we are gonna be dealing with some tough, tough um, situation in this game. We need to be snowballing, but we all got quite snowbally races against us. Hopefully, we will be able to take down Kyrian. I love that. I just wish it was a Undead or Forsaken or one other crazy hero. Mm, do we see Headhunters? Yeah, we did. I saw the spear critting there. At least he works strong early on. Suddenly we we're losing that mill. Now we might be able to get a good early game. <laughs> oh dear dear it's gonna be really close but we have it and let's get the gold my there yeah we should capture this for 75 gold and we'll get 50 extra gold in five seconds so that's perfect not have, i do not have any clue what course the is playing with <laughs> thank you Osman. The orcs are strong early on, but after that, they are lacking a little bit. Oh, I wish you were with us, Toya Tuck Leader. I really do not care how strong my enemies are. I guess people love to see me suffer nowadays, but I'm just mainly in here for the fun. And you would still probably, even when not being too well, be more of a challenge than most random people we can meet. <clears throat> Alright. Everyone go for the middle lane, aren't they? Except for the wagon. You stay two there. Wait, how the hell did he Oh no 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 he went for the tech upgrade and no into two barracks except for here. So we should be looking good. We will want some Arcanine plates up. Able to perform better. Oh lord. <clears throat> He's getting a lot of X units from the middle lane. That means he should be strong enough to get the counter stack in. Troll might be looking strong here, but is he gonna be strong enough to deal with two armies here at once? I don't think he will be. Reducing enemy speed could be great against, especially against the trolls with the. Um, Late game Berserk they have. Hey, that must be lucky. <clears throat> I tried to stream often, you know. I tried to stream often. <laughs> but yeah, <clears throat> let's not forget the trolls are incredible with controlling the game once again. The arm upgrades and healing. Um, Fenderon is gonna be very strong with the Tito magic as well. He's certainly gonna be counter attacking us. That's really annoying. It's gonna be slow though. Let's get one more blades up, then probably to the top. Tantalord Raider, cool name. I'm really getting the gold that we want from this middle lane. Oh yeah, the issue was that we first had to break the big draw army, then the their army, we just casually went to three mill lane. What the hell is this even? How can he panda get away with tier three mill lane? Jesus. I think it's straight my thing from Blood Smite to invest a lot at the mill lane. Crook, quick question. <clears throat> but nope, I do not. I, Often depends on the strength of my enemies. 
I just wanted to snowball this game because I kind of was afraid of the Worgen as an enemy early on to control the battlefield. And I want to break that by simply um, upgrade to him early on to get the gold mine, get some good gold from that and then to focus on the middle lane. Now we'll get... Uh, game is going to change. I still will go middle lane because if this will push through it should not even be the worst for us yet. And trolls might be coming but we should be okay. Yeah, those air units are gonna be pain especially with siege damage. That's something we will have to be fair wary of. That's a really early troll hero. That was Rokan, so we should save the lane also with one beam tier uh, 2 over there. But yeah, he's still 1 tier 1, so yeah, he could. He was always able to get away with that early hero there. Let's get the shamanism up. But at least the Pandera has to count the Rokan now, because if he's not gonna do it, we'll be losing out on so much gold in mid lane. But he's not gonna be able to get a hero up anytime soon. Interesting game so far. Not what you normally would expect. We can get Smur in there, but it could still be risky against a level 10 Rokan. Brawl might be a safer option, but I think we just want to go for your double rates here. We should be able to get some decent gold from here still. Let's keep upgrading our units because he has to go tier 2 here, he has to go tier 2 there. He will have to keep upgrading his units. So he's gonna fall very far behind on unit upgrades because he rushed at the hero. And he will struggle in the side lanes. He might have to buy a lot of units as well. So any potential gold that he gets from the middle lane by beating up the Panarin. He might be missing it because he has to buy units there. What's it too? So he might be capturing this workshop soon. He's got another arm upgrade. Yeah, we're not gonna get that tick. He has spare raw already up. Yeah, these guys went to two on the mains real early. Interesting. Let's get the barricades up. We will have to think of our moves because. We need to snowball this game, essentially, to have a chance against our strong opponents. Morgan might be coming a little bit stronger than we are, and he's not even showing his um, racial bones yet. That's kind of scary. We're gonna look real good there. So what can we do? I guess we have to keep upgrading. Look at this guy going, man. Boy, oh boy, boy. What are we going to do? And those are our current instincts. Lightning bolt, perhaps. Season troops. Yeah, the trolls are gonna get so fed by the Pandaren. At least we are gonna get some decent gold now with two fortification upgrades. I will have to keep upgrading, so we need this tier 2 fortress ASAP. And yeah, we can keep the momentum against the trolls at least. In the top lane. Even if we will be getting more gold than us. Which is debatable if we keep the pressure on him here though. I mean, it's gonna get a l Oh! No, it's a mistake, but it's fine. We can get away with it. I will not cancel it because we... It's 650 gold. Mm. So we would be wasting like 160 gold by canceling this. Not worth it. Tip 3 fortifications is fine. He's feeling at least a little bit of pain. He also has two fortification upgrades. I 
yeah, the Pandera would be in the best situation to get rid of this hero. Like I said, we can always try out uh, Akesha Sumuro. But I'm fine with him controlling the lane for the time being. As long as we can give our unit lead better. There we go, 75 gold every 30 seconds. Not too bad, not too bad. Look at this. <clears throat> Seems like we are beating him up a lead. Of course, it could be great. It will go for the Vulture Arrow on the um, Fortress. We'll see. Or Unit Attack Rate. What would you guys say? The Vulture or Unit Attack Rate? Unit Attack Rate could be really good. Our instincts could be nice. Yeah, this is gonna take age for it's gonna pay off. Not worth it for now, I guess. Ape so poison. Need some extra damage to rock at least. Yeah, let's go for our instincts. Morphation would work nicely, especially against the very hot hitting Morgan. I mean, he does have a lot of damage with the roar. He does have for lightning blade run. I guess static aura could be the better one, even though it will not affect enemy heroes. What would you guys suggest? Well, let's reduce attack rate for the enemies. We want to keep upgrading there at least. Let's get one small stun and some extra damage, of course. Since we're still getting some decent gold for the mid lane because we are beating up the Worgen after all. Hermit, is that. No, that's not the um, mage replacement. I have no idea what he is playing with. And I'm pretty certain we will discover it sooner or later. Go 5 3, reason to 2. He does have me healing though. He might be able to come stack us a little bit easier from now forward. Neurons perfect. One slow poison would be great. Let's get tipsy. Some good defense up. That's a little bit of extra damage for the level scouts. Let's get one poison in. Probably a season troop, although it's only for the ground scout. Probably got the wolf riders. And probably we should be going for tier 3 barracks sooner or later somewhere. Yes, we can get away with one quick tipsy because this wave will be fine over here. Next wave might be coming around 8 seconds too short. No fuel count. Mm, well, it happens. It happens. At least we are gonna stay focused on great content here. Uh, did we say 8 seconds? It's gonna be way more than that. Did we send Chen out there? Would be interesting. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be way more than 8 seconds. Maybe more from my arm than we should have. But we can take that there, that's fine. Especially since we do have the uh, lump mill up there. Yeah, let's just go to Fortion. <coughs> Kirin is dead. <laughs> oh man. Uh, maybe not yet. Makes me want to throw down Samiro here. But he would still probably lose against Rokan. Mm, this wave did spawn a bad time. He does have a 
Get to one barrel because I saw some stunts over there. So it came in a really no time, man. We can take it. That's the only middle uh, fight. But this is how scared the trolls are, man. We are leading so much with the unit upgrades. Still getting a lot of hits in our face. Yeah, now they are coming for aid. Lovely. Oh! Jesus Christ. We should have paid attention here. It's not my game, man. Rexa, quickly, please. A very aggressive move uh, by the Wogan here. We should have enough gold now. Should be okay there. I think uh, Kirill already died. Man, oh man, man. Aggressive enemies. Rexham might still be pushing through quickly. Uh, Kyrian with the town was probably the worst hero the Pandera could have sent towards the mid lane. Kind of a weird move over there. We cannot overrun him yet. Maybe we can try to go tip four <clears throat> and then go for uh, Samuro. Would be a massive investment, but we can at least reliably level up our heroes here. So even if we cannot do it middle lane, we would be fine, I guess. Need to be careful here against the troll though. Research-wise, I think we can get away with the investment. If we can't control the middle lane, we might be setting ourselves up for a great uh, late game. But we need to get rid of him quickly then. Yursin <coughs> seems like overkill with T2 against T2. He will survive this, obviously. Battle friends. He does have tier 3 one bears already. Yeah, this guy knows how to play the game. Look at Samuro be, uh, Rexa being quick. But we can easily redirect him, that's fine. Should be careful since we might be losing some repos from the middle lane. Wait, one, two more waves. I will go for all. <coughs> I think this is if, if we do send Smir now, we will be losing him quickly against Rokan. He's level 18 hero. You do not want to underestimate them. My blues reinforcements to deal with yours as well, so maybe we can get Frawl here. 
Make him collect the experience on yours in, and then get a middle lane. I mean, we gotta talk about the ideal situation here. Like getting really ideal with yours in running away. You know what? Let's go to Miro. Hopefully, he will not go bottom. We need to kill him quickly. Oh my god, you stupid. Ah. I hate when that happens. You know what? Then we gotta be mean. Then we have to press on quickly. I hate when such stuff happens. Brawl with a very slow T2 counter attack against this T3 would be perfect. But no, Sumiro ruining my day. It's Rock still over here. Then we might be sending Rexa. Yeah, I was actually considering T4 here as well. Got to take a small risk here. At least he is already slightly leveled up. We got to get put here, but no way. Shoujo thinks we are T4 against him on the, uh, on the top. So embarrassed with Samuro go bottom. What a nightmare. It's just T2 against my T4 and the hero. Should be ours. He's not gonna have a fun time defending this. Rexa, don't go funny and hit the Pandaren straight on. There he is, it's great at tanking. So he might be okay here. But it's the uh, T3 against T3, so I think he needs more than that. Not a yours in. Maybe really thinks we are T4 against him. <laughs> There is is not gonna enjoy this. It can be annoying. <coughs> Speak about annoying. A little special unit hero. Ugh. I'm gonna cry if the there was some stealing. Could be a thing, realistically. I believe we got rid of Darius. Jim down, please. Go for it, uh, you beautiful Rexar. Whatever Rockhand is gonna be sent next, he's gonna be a major pain in the ass. Research complete. An allied hero has been killed. Well, they should be ours, so I think it's time for us to tech up. Can bring in some Muro, but we, but I prefer to be getting reinforcements from the middle barracks. Can then do our, uh, let's get a lot of frenzy, see the troops. We should be good. You know what? Let's send him. 
If you're gonna go top, I will go crazy. Might struggle a little bit with working force here. What the? That is unbelievable. He was. What is the nerve doing to me today? What a guy. We are so in control of the middle lane with just Rexar. Gonna words. Bro, get in there, get in there. Jesus. We're struggling at the top. We're also just stronger than we are. We'll make a real mess out of this game. With the poison arrow, right. I struggle so much with the trolls. And I cannot believe Sumiro, man. I cannot believe it. Anyway, we need this on tier three simulator anyway because we might be needing the help from Kugal soon. Yeah, it's only a matter of time before we lose both heroes there. And it might still take ten minutes if we're unlucky. Hey, the Mitchell, nice see, man. But I don't think I actually ever had such a weird aggro game. I know we are making some risky moves at times, but... Definitely one of the weirdest games I have played. Which one's there? Despite us controlling the lane. Not really swimming in gold. That was probably really high as well. Look at that. Rock actually chilling. We will have to deal with the hero from him. Yeah, this is really scaring me that he is building up a wave. Just right from my own base. Oh yes, it's gonna be annoying. Yeah, we might even be worse for us because he will have the extra witch doctor every way. Hopefully Samara will stay in the lane a little bit long, but I'm not counting on it. We should be finding out. We dealt some damage to him. <coughs> no, I cannot imagine the Daryl go so crazy to send the hero here. He actually might control my weaving. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Two minutes before we can send the Prowl. My heroes will leave them in lane soon. A pillage is utterly useless for now because we are not really hitting enemy buildings all too much and we have no tip for to deal with. We gotta level one now. No salvage gold yet. Okay, they will be gone. We just went tier 3. Hello, the Jiang. Ooh, Proximite is struggling. Tier 2 spell. If he dies, we will be getting sandwich, so that's not really good news. He's still 4. At least Jang seems to die at our hands. I have time with slow contact with tier 3 against uh, his tier 4. Should be fine at top. I would like a mid lane. <laughs> but I don't see that happening yet. 
Oh dear. This way coming in at a pimp time. Rexa will be bleeding. And then we will get a tier 3 mate. Get the chain lining up. Shoot down those very roaring annoying guys. Rexa can withstand some damage for sure. Let's get one slow poison up. Should be great when we will have to deal with special units. Let's upgrade it. That will change their direction. Perfect. Rock cannon coming. Ooh, that's gonna be annoying. We can potentially go for Samuro, or we can throw down Fogal. He's still a Tito, so he can go for Rosso contact. I'm not entirely positive whether Samuro will just casually beat up Rock at level 24. take the risk. <clears throat> I will take the risk though. We cannot let the trolls casually feed upon our uh, army. And I really want chain lightning in as well. Oh, the Kyrian. Let's get this one up. Should be a really important bow uh, power boost. Yeah, I was considering uh, Kugal. He's doubled my uh, hero level, but it's tier 2 against tier 3. Smurr is an assassin, so he should be able to get some free damage in there at least. Can be really close. Do not worry, just keep critting him. Oh my lord, that image really ended up in the worst spot for him. It's gonna be close. I think he will make it. It's definitely worth it. Got the early hero kill, no pressure on our base, and we managed to prevent him from getting too much gold from us. We can try go down middle lane. We might have to deal with the wolf here though. If we send Kugal middle lane, we might push through and apply pressure to him and cause the panda to die. Research complete. That would be a shame. This one is mine. <coughs> we need more gold. But he wants to play. Did we see Fog Lightning? Yeah, we did. Never want this up to tier 4. Get the flaming attack for a lot of damage for the, on the enemy buildings. He's on the high middle levels. That's a bit scary. He's tier 3, so yeah, we might not be pushing that quickly with Kogal. He's never gonna be leaving that middle lane um, without leveling up. That's for sure. Here he dies. Nine years of spot, eight slain. Two will fall soon. But Kogal will still stay alive, so it's it's quite balanced. An allied hero has been killed. An allied hero has been killed. Okay, there is incoming, and he is incoming with tip four, so we need to be wary of that. Go a little bit aggressive here. Once again, he is just tier 2. He will struggle a little bit more than Samuro did, I think, but with the extra little sh shamanism, he might be able to kill him. Might stop going tier 3. 
that this is gonna be our fight. So yeah, we are playing aggressive here today. I read another lose Kogal yet. Wanted to become at least level 20 or so before we send him to one of the side lanes. We do not want to have him in the melee for too long. He went tier 3. But once again, we outplayed him for now. We will be able to defend this. Could be Fulgian. I think Fulgian still have one or a hero from middle barracks or we might be seeing a turtle. But since he just went tier 3, I don't think he will have enough gold for a turtle. And this looks a little bit grim for us. That was Matamata, definitely not middle lane. Because Kogal could still beat him up there uh, very much. Was it uh, Spiky? I think it was Matamata. But I'm not a animal expert. Reinforcements <laughs> <laughs> there. And Matamata. Oh, Spike was already here. He's just casually playing around with his base. Oh, uh, just smack it and then go for Matamata. That, that's fine. Imagine him slaying Matamata there. Let's get up. Let's get a flame attack. Oh, Fodio was level 8. Oh, he lost the top barracks. He might be losing the middle. Oh boy. Here is sent, which might then be imminent. Did not sign up for that. Get start looking soon if you want to. Fodion is struggling a little bit, but he will survive. We should be falling. But sadly, no Matamata for us to slay. Take another Endurance Hour up. Maybe we should have passed into tier 4 in the hero top. Look at the barracks. The Koga also no to defend. He just stuns and then smacks the first thing that hits him. And if everything's done, it's up to gun beat barracks. Definitely a frustrating special to defend against. Can we survive this? Did he go spiky here? Well, okay. He could be smiting Kugal, so we have to be cautious. The time Kiryu will actually survive. Oh my god. 100 health. But if he smites, he's uh, prone to looking. Hey there, must be Bob. Nice to see you there. Um, yeah, we need the goal. That's for sure. Hoping we will slay Kirin because we do need the goal from him. Maybe York's definitely lacking a little bit of AoE and healing. The default gliding is a very annoying ability against us. Yeah, men shielding for the Tana. Not entirely surprising, I would say. Don't know why the retraction did not work there somehow. Okay. Time to look him soon. It would be great to get some um, extra money, I would say. Spike is killing me here. Good now. With the laser beam, well, the spear uh, that Spike is throwing, should be able to get Kugal there. Uh, Rex out. I'm gonna sink Kugal.
Maar jij heet, ehm... Uh, obvious... It's my dip. Deal some good damage there. You never want to keep self prone to enemy looks. Might be anxious for what the work will do. He's on high mana. So if we start looking this guy, he could definitely backstab us. Where's the hero? There's Tobias. God sent Kugal. Now, if this will take a little bit longer. Die Wolf Mill Lane. Well, got. Okay, it's just simply begging for Nuke now. There you go. We can take that. Yeah, they're coming. Let's get the fortification up. I do kind of want to upgrade my um, units. But if we can get this cable of Dean with a potential of nuke for him, we should be in really good shape. Spike is gonna be very annoying without many reinforcements. Rexa, crawl together, should be sufficient. Lord is having fun in middle lane, as expected. Not to matter going top, but he shouldn't be the worst for sure. Your Royal. We do not want Gogala here anyway, because he will probably smite him. We might initiate the nuke here instantly because he will otherwise nuke me anyway. <coughs> we might not be able to spell shoot it uh, right now. Which he might go for soon uh, otherwise. Oh, we're lacking gold, man. Especially with Goldbrin annoying us in the middle lane. That's why he's absorbing the TV is spiky. Probably should be good. We could want to get spiky from here to us. But he thought he could kill me with his smite. So yeah, I definitely deserve that nuke. It's my cooldown. I don't know out of my head. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna be available soon again. Let's get another... Catpult in there. Yeah. Come on Catpult! Just sing hit would be excruciating for Kotsubu there. Look at Let's just wait for one second for now. Leave across Spikey. I think it's safe to assume he will. Oh yes! We hit it! Just a few more! We have 800 damage from Fling Attack, I believe. It's a single hit there. Come on, Thunderlord, you can do it! It's gonna be so close, man. It still survive, and it probably will. We had a very important blow there to him. Three rows, no spiky. I'm fine with that. I think it will survive. I still the left side as well. Yeah, it will survive. Tomorrow top should be sufficient. We'll still join the middle lane. The goal might be some unwanted pressure for um, Kursibu. I think we will have to go for that. We can always nuke this as well if we want to. 
But he is currently my frenemy. Might go for an aggressive Samaria. He will struggle against two strong troll heroes. I do not want to give him any moment. <laughs> Just like Stick says, we need to <laughs> let the enemies feel the pain. Now, I'm not in fact sure what happened to Frog's Smite in this game, but he is a capable defender. So he can probably hang on here for a long time. I'm gonna not go for Kogal, so we need to be careful with the resource from the pass. He could be smiting Kogal, but if he does, this is safe for us to nuke. Then we will slowly win the game. Over time, unless they will all send me their special units. I think we can get away with the Arcanet Tips upgrade, because we'll be getting more gold for killing. Uh, we can, Smurf did a great job here. Might have to deal with the special unit, but he also has to deal with Matamata, so he is gonna be in a tricky position. He could smite Matamata if he wants to, though. He could also smite me here with Google. <coughs> but if I was him, I would look to my defenses. <laughs> yeah, this is good to that, man. Is he taking up for a... He can smite, but he cannot look for that well. Back to us. Can say I'm surprised. But he might also defend Mathmata. Could even go mid lane. That would be extremely funny. Let's just get the extra barricades upgrade. He's gonna come for us. And he might be smiting him. He will not really have any ways of dealing with Kogal all too easily, so he might also be smiting. Good re redirect here from the Shoyo Royal. He did send out a lot of heroes, so he might be lacking them. Pack is coming in quick. Uh, we need Thrall here. Ooh, actually, even from there. That's gonna be tough. That's gonna be really tough. This might hurt us a little bit. Oh, but that is in a scary position for him. 20 seconds. Oh, dearie. This ain't good. He's still smiting. Maybe it was some cooldown. That was awfully late. Let's get all the extra units that we can muster. Send him up from mid lane. He's losing it. We can call him, by the way, if we have enough gold, but I think we are just slightly killing Spike too quickly. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, the spear gun. So useful and redirecting your heroes. Google did his job. Let's deal with another special unit. Certainly going to be annoying though. We can always get rid of his smites by looking the cheap cell.
But if he dies, we will still be controlling the long lane here, which would be perfect. Tito spell. We can also just really mess him up by uh, nuking this barracks. The flame attack might be killing this already. Perfect. Of course, Boo might be dying here to Proud Smite. You know what? <clears throat> he will enjoy this. It would have uh, healed up otherwise. I'd rather not see that happen. I mean, those wisps that you see flying from Fudu would have held it, <laughs> healed it. <laughs> Check the mic of the devil's smart move. A bit mean, perhaps. A bit mean. Yeah, they cannot stop the horde. <laughs> well, he started with his might. Got to be careful, but we do have three barracks, and the enemies have three barracks. Mero probably dead here. Pro could also potentially die. Let's get another barricades up. Let's say, man, we are playing a near perfect game here so far. He's gonna be going for Pro. Ah, not anymore. Good boy. You know what? Samurai wants to play the middle lane. Yeah, one, two, maybe three hero kills, maybe even four. You have to be careful at the top. Look at Goldrim, man, what a beast. Definitely worth a good bounty as well. Alright, Tobias. Yeah, of course he will go all in there. But we do have Kogal available, so we should be okay. We could still be bringing out a wolf, I think. But I think we got this, guys. I think we got this. We might be going into a phasmophobia afterwards, so stay tuned. <coughs> Let's be aggressive. The red FD is just outside of my base. Yeah, we knew he would be coming there. Here he will certainly come. Probably from top. Rex the bottom. So goal against Matamata, that's gonna be an interesting battle. But we should be getting more reinforcements. Hopefully we will be staying Darius away from him. Nope, that's a happening. We should have damage there. He's yeah, I think he meant to send Chen here. No eight, Matamata. It's gonna be close battle, but we will probably come out on top. He's, uh, he does have the shield. Not sure why he went for it. We are this split because we cannot smite him, he cannot smite him. Yeah, of course he wants spell shield the mana. But mana shield might be better. Next target we would have for our uh, look would be this anyway. So Matamata with the uh, armor will win it. I think we're gonna be fine though against Matamata. Oh, Frog cannot be sent on the right side. Only middle late. Oh boy, Smuro. That would be really bad news. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. Okay, we kind of need to defend this without a hero now. That's Matamata will also be bring the pain. 
gold rune is incoming. So we're gonna have to do this the hard way. Those images from the uh, rage unit kind of annoying to deal with. Look at this, we cannot even direct the set area. Oh dearie. That means redirection also ain't going to be easy. Should be good there. Another time soon, why is he using it on Goldrin? Probably because he didn't want to use it on the... Uh, oh really? Look at them go for the barracks. What an ass. Look at this! I really hate Goldrim, man. Look at that the refusal to be redirected. <laughs> yeah, we should win it, but I will not say we will win it because Goldrin can be funny with the redirection. Certainly has been the piece for us already. Ben here looking annoying. I'm here, so we'll go meta pink. Let's just upgrade. Another flame attack should be good. I think the puppy also loses against Matamata yet. He doesn't have a high attack speed, which makes him really difficult for enemy special to deal with, which makes him really powerful, but. The damage on return from Matamata just really kills uh, the Wolfie real quickly. But yeah. This game uh, can be so annoying. I mean, we already won this, but we took so much damage there. Well, we were hitting the backline with the barracks. We were hitting with the tower. We were hitting the wolf with the fortress as well. But he didn't care. Let me see another Matamata soon. Season troops. Sure. Let's get another battle frenzy. Can't say we are struggling more with resources in this game than we usually do with the orcs. <laughs> uh, Soulburn for Matamata would be a weakness if he could be hit by it. Soulburn does not affect him. It only affects uh, heroes. Doesn't work on special hits. But yeah, he. he, he he is definitely a little bit weaker against ranged special units. It's not as self powered as he may uh, sound like, but he's still very good, very strong. I'd rather really do this. Scout those heroes go mid lane. It means they will defend me against Matamata there. An hero has been okay, except for Gen then. Should we just flex a little bit and send Kogal top? We might be struggling to find enough resources to deal with Matmata. Let's send bottom. We will need something top anyway. We can crush the wolfies quickly. Let's be mean, let's be mean. Adal. <laughs> yeah, there are many special units in game, guys. Special rage units. 
So yeah, us killing this means no more protection for us from the Worgen. But definitely a lot of respect for my enemies. We had two strangers, and both of them stayed uh, in, the, in the game until the very end. Well, maybe not the troll, but he was so defeated. Yeah, it's gonna be feeling the pain there. You know what? We're playing hyper aggressive today. If Pro can push away soon, if Gal can push away soon, he will at least lose the finish dojo. The elevator is now with the faction of Lord Run. Well, look, this Jenny boy is gonna be going down fairly quickly. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, I guess no one will miss a gosh. <laughs> Except for those memes. Right, Karrion, you will die to the real war chief. Maybe we should repair our buildings for once. Yeah, we should be more defined here to do with this. Miro is not taking this too well. Here's Raxa. Look at me when it. Rex actually hits Matamata, -mat, how much life he loses. It's crazy. He's sacrificing the main. So no more reinforcements for the fan at the top. Perfect. Be annoying at the top. You know what? Let's finish him through the top. Super aggressive there, but yeah. Uh, if we use Kogal mid lane, we definitely would have won over time. But I do not want to lose. So uh, these beautiful neutral buildings. But yeah, the map uh, these days is definitely getting a lot of updates. Oh boy, we couldn't even get too many heroes. Sorry, leaning there. What map is gonna be playing though, man? How's it going? Hey, even if he realized he will lose to Kugal. It was such a risky move to get Jing in there. Maybe just wants to push out as hard as he can, but he, if it gets a base race, he will still lose it because we have the fortress remaining. And that still has uh, have Sintra Goza indeed, but it's a special replacement, which is a bonus. Let's see, we need some good redirections here. We cannot even buy too many units. We will have to be on our toes, but Kugal will be smashing him. Where's Jenny boy? We should be good there. He's not gonna get too many reinforcements, which also makes special a big threat because you cannot redirect them anymore. Rexa certainly is gonna die here. Yeah. But I think he is not gonna make it out. Oh! <laughs> Did we actually kill Chen before he could split back? Oh no, we didn't. 
that would that would be lovely. We have to be very wary here because he will attack us. Oh, that's sad news. But I think we will still win it. <laughs> We're so close to looking again. Oh, man, 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 man. What a lovely battle, what a lovely battle. Never easy to be winning with the Orcs if you cannot get a snowball, but we managed throughout the game. These are well, the trolls might uh, made us really vulnerable. We easily could have lost a barracks there. It was a tricky spot of the game. But we managed this game really well. I think it was a world serving win here for us. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. If you like the content, give thumbs up and share us to your beloved ones. See you around.